My name is Dixon Gillette, and let's continue our tutorial on Microsoft Flight Simulator 10. After we've received the proper instructions from our ground controller, we're now going to contact the tower controller to request takeoff clearance. Now we simply do this, and the tower either tells us to taxi into position and hold, or the tower will tell us that we're clear for takeoff and that our departure is approved. In that case, we can get right onto the runway, throw the throttles down, and take right off. Now under certain conditions of flying in an aircraft, you might be using something called centers. And centers are essentially regional radar service areas that the FAA has set up. And what these do is these keep the airplanes uh, spaced apart and they provide you a general vector guidance if you're flying with instruments or under instrument conditions. Essentially, centers will give you a frequency that you'll go to. They'll give you a squawk code or a transponder code that you'll enter in your transponder and this essentially identifies your aircraft on that controller's radar screen so he can give you different vectors. Now from centers, you'll essentially go from center to center to center, such as from Los Angeles Center to Salt Lake Center to Denver Center and then down to Albuquerque Center. Here in Arizona, we typically are controlled with Albuquerque Center. And from the centers, then we finally go to approach control when we're approaching a different service area in a major metropolitan area.